So yeah, so first I'd like to thank um, the Brain Foundation and the donors for giving us the funding for this award. Um, myself and the co-investigators also from the University of Adelaide, Michael Lardelli and Stephen Peterson are very grateful and appreciative for this funding. So one of the burning or the most burning question for Alzheimer's disease researchers is, and also of course for the many, many people affected by this disease, is why is there still no effective treatment? Why is there been repeated failure of clinical trials for this disease? So there's more than one answer to that question, but in our research group, we believe it's because we really still don't have a clear understanding of what is causing this disease. What are the molecular mechanisms underlying the changes that would go on inside an Alzheimer's disease brain? So we know that Alzheimer's disease does take decades to develop and um, to sort of understand and determine what some of these causative factors might be, we need to make um, detailed molecular analysis of young brains before they would go on to develop Alzheimer's. And of course, this is quite difficult to do in humans and human studies, so um, this is why we need to use animal models. So in our research group, to try and help us understand and identify some of these causative factors, um, we've ge generated zebrafish models that mimic the genetic state of inherited Alzheimer's disease as closely as possible. So essentially we've made mutant models of Alzheimer's disease. So we can look inside, um, the, make detailed molecular analysis inside the young brains and then um, we can also compare this to aged brains to see if the changes are different or if they persist. And so this is one of the real benefits of using animal models because we can do this type of ageing analysis. So we've already um, uh, made some detailed molecular analysis of our young brains and we've actually seen quite dramatic effects on energy production. So energy, um, energy production is critical as it supports all other brain functions. But in this analysis we looked at the whole brain and the brain is actually made up of many different types of cells, not just neurons, and the energy relationships between these different types of cells can be quite complex. So this project will actually we'll look at the young brains again, but we'll look at the single cell level to try and identify how these different cell types are affected in our genetic model of Alzheimer's disease. So when we heard that we received this funding, we were really excited because we can use, use this um, new technology, this new single cell um, analysis, and um, so, yeah, we hope that our results will reveal and contribute to the molecular, um, what's underlying the molecular mechanisms causing Alzheimer's disease and also inform other researchers um, so they may be f help, our research will help find new molecular targets um, for drug development. So, again, thank you very much for this funding. <laughs>